welcome to the Crafty Recycler. Today we're going to create this beautiful mini lamp out of a pill bottle and a recycled plastic cup and a recycled takeout container. And so I'm so glad you joined me because this is such a cool project. I mean, you can use it as a nightlight in your bathroom, a decorative item anywhere in the house. Give it as a great gift. Have it on tables at different kinds of parties, tea parties, you know, any kind of shower. It's just an excellent uh, little gadget to have sitting around. So to get started, what I'll do is I'll mention the uh, supplies that you'll need. And as I already stated, um, you're going to need a pill bottle. You're going to need Goo Gone to take the label off the pill bottle. First, you're going to soak it in dish soap overnight and dish soap water. Then you'll take Goo Gone with a rag and, and wipe the residue off. Okay, you're going to need one of these takeout um, things that they put like salad dressing or sauce or whatever in. And then you're going to need a recycled um, plastic cup. So with that in mind, let's get started. And I've already prepped a lot of this stuff to make this video quicker. So what I've done is um, I've already glued this salad dressing container onto this bottle to, just to show you. Now you can use a hot glue gun um, and the supplies that I was mentioning you need hot, hot glue gun or regular glue depending what you want to use. I use hot glue to get it done quicker. Um, you're going to need this beaded um, jewel glue jewels um, and I'm going to use the gold today and you're going to need washi tape uh, big and small and you're going to need a cupcake wrapper and glue dots so and scissors so that you can cut the uh, cupcake uh, paper all right so with all that let's get started and I've already begun to do the cup what I've done is I've taken the upper lip off and I've taken about an inch off. I started with like a half inch and then to even it out because as you go with the scissors sometimes it gets a little crooked. You can mark it with a marker. It doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to cover it with the um, cupcake wrapper trim. So to show you with the washi tape what you do, I've already put three pieces on this particular cup and you want to put them across from each other uh, directly across so that it makes four in the end of the big ones so as you can see they meet up so I'm going to go ahead and do that and just add this last one on here and then once you get the uh, all four of these on you can go back and fill it in with the smaller uh, thinner washi tape so let me snip this off okay so as you can see <laughs> this looks like that in the end and you're going to trim these when you're done so don't worry about that but I just wanted to show you the effect of the four. Now to move things along quicker what I've done is I've already applied as I said in between you're going to take the thin washi tape um, and you're going to do the same thing and go four one across from each other in between in between the big ones you've already applied okay. Now once you have all those on the cup you're going to want to apply the um, thin washi tape around the lip as I've shown here. It's kind of hard to see but I'll hold it up. It just gives it a nice edge before you put the cupcake wrapper on. Okay, So we want to go around once with the thin washi tape and adhere it. And then once you have that done, you take the cupcake wrapper and you trim it. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to cover it with jewels. But you just trim it around, you fold the cupcake wrapper in half, and then you trim it around so that you just have the, the fringe part of the cupcake wrapper. You want to snip that part like this. And since I've already applied half of it, I'm going to show you how to do the other half real quick. And you just kind of eyeball where you want to cut it to, hold it up and then just cut it. Now this is where the glue dots come in, and um, these glue dots are great, they look like this, I don't know if you ever got them, but they're great to work with. Um, what I like to do is, for this project, because glue dots, this, they're a little bit fat for this thin washi tape and this cupcake paper, so I cut it down the center and make them half dots. Okay, so once you cut it down the center, you just separate your um, paper from the glue dot and you rub it along um, where the 
And where I stopped with the um, cupcake paper, and you just want to rub it on there to make it stick to the cup like this. You just rub it and make sure the glue stays on the cup and not on the wrapper. Okay. And then once you get those on there, I mean, you can use other glue too, but this is just a quick, quick way of like making it stick without having the glue gun stringing all over the place and all that stuff. So, got those three on there. So I'm going to take the piece of um, trim that I cut and I'm going to stick start sticking the trim like this around the cup just pushing it on the glue dots it looks like I'm going to need another glue dotter glue dotter too here <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the other half of what I cut and I'm going to apply that to the cup and I want to mention too that if you subscribe to my channel I really appreciate it and um, if you could give me a like and comment below on Anything you've appreciated or learned or maybe that you want to see in the future or maybe that you like to recycle or crafting you do, I'd appreciate that. And um, if you hit the subscribe button, there's a little bell that will alert you to upcoming videos of mine and let you know when they've come out. So I appreciate all those who have done that. And if you haven't, it'd be great if you could do that. In addition to that, um, we now have a website that we've started and it's called Dogs Ride for Free. And what it is is, well, my husband named it after, because we have two little dogs that are really cute, but um, you can get special made t-shirts, hats, and paintings. My husband's a great artist and he makes um, paintings. And I'll show you those when we're done here. Now, this glue dot, <laughs> this glue dot is not wanting to, uh, the paper is not wanting to let go here. Okay. Um, so we'll have this on here like this and it looks like I went a little long so I'm going to trim it but better long than short because you know you don't want it to come up short okay so now we have the cupcake wrapper applied all the way around and we're going to take and we're going to apply a thin row of this this jewel tape comes two across and what I've done is I've snipped down the center to make it a one-liner here for this particular part of the project so I've already taken the back off. I'm going to stick these on here like this. And um, and where's the other piece? Okay, the other piece disappeared on me. So I'm going to cut a little more. Um, probably stuck to my elbow or something. <laughs> anyway, um, so if you wanted to check out that website, it's dogsrideforfree.com and you can order, and I'm going to start putting the things I make on there as well that I demonstrate. Uh, and also if anybody's interested in the directions, the written directions on how to make this stuff, I'm going to start putting that up there as an option to, to purchase um, if anyone's interested in that. Okay. Now. All right, so there we have our, our lampshade. So we're ready to move on to the bottom. And to do that, I've already escalated the process. Um, as I've shown you, we've already adhered this to this. So what I've done is I've mostly decorated this particular bottle to save time. And what I've done is I've taken the jewel tape and put it around the neck of the bottle here. I've cut I've put the washi tape, the fat washi tape around the bottom. Then I've taken a strip of the jewels and put them around. Then I've just put four of these, um, cut them into diamond shapes and put it on like that. And then two on each side. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply on this side the four little um, diamond cut pieces. Well, actually, you know what? To save time, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to show you how to do the washi tape because you get the idea from looking at this what it's going to look like on the back. So I'm just going to apply the washi tape on the top and show you how that's done. And you just take it around and you just guide it how you want it to be. And it looks like I might have to move a few of my jewels they got in the way here. Usually I put the washi tape on before the jewels, but you just move them down. They really stick real easy. Okay, applying the washi tape and just going around. The top of the bottle and 
trying to line it up best you can. And smoothing it out as we go. And then just cut it. And then you can just smooth it up how you want it to look, getting the wrinkles out best you can. And if you get it right, it looks almost like it's painted on there, which is really cool. Um, and you know, these wrinkles, they, you just keep working with them and they eventually do disappear once you rub them good enough and just get the air bubbles out. Okay, so um, now the last part of this bottle is that I'm gonna put this uh, jewel tape around the bottom of the big washi tape here. And I love this stuff because you don't have to worry about glue or anything, you just wrap it around and it sticks great. And you can also re-stick sometimes if, it, you, know, if you need to remove it in a different location. So anyway, so that's the finished bottom part of the lamp. Here's the lamp shade. And here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off like this and put the candle, which I did this one a little different. I had spray painted and put this on top, but I like it better like this where it stays see-through and you can actually put the candle right inside here and snap this on top, which holds it from sliding around. So it makes it better that way. And then you just put your lampshade on. You're good to go. You have yourself a nice night light, decoration for a party, gift for a friend, whatever you want it to be. And, and you've done something good for the environment because you've recycled. Now, I mentioned my husband uh, having a website called Dogs Ride for Free and that he's an artist and he makes paintings. So let me show you those real quick, a few of the things um, that you can see if you go to that website. And he will custom make, if you send a picture of your dog or yourself or wh a friend, whatever you want to do, um, you can order and have him custom paint it for you. So I'll just give you a few samples of his work. Now, these are our dogs that he did. This is our dog, Mr. Deeds, and this is Rocky. And um, then as far as people, he's done a few celebrities just so people can be familiar with, you know, what they, what they look like to give a sample of what it is. This is Julia Roberts and, and a dog. And we have the infamous Will Smith who likes to jump from helicopters and be crazy. <laughs> and also he did Gabrielle Union oops, and a few other things, but you get the idea. And also if you want a wedding portrait done, this was a sample here that he did of a wedding, uh, a couple had their wedding picture done. Okay, so um, thank you so much for your time today, please. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so and also visit our new website dogsrideforfree.com and have a wonderful day.